Hello people and welcome to an Unreal Engine tutorial. Um, in this video I want to share a little trick I uh, came up with when I was uh, trying to prepare an animation uh, which I am showing here. This is a case uh, snooping and the idea is, is uh, going to be snooping uh, behind a wall if it's uh, smaller than um, uh, and if you want it to be standing uh, upright. Um, so what I um, wanted to test really quickly was how tall would my uh, level um, prop have to be, my mesh. And uh, I could just import this, uh, no problem. Um, but so I um, kind of wanted just to be able to place this character without having to implement anything on my character in case I needed to change it and, and stuff. So um, the idea is that we uh, create a prototype character, uh, which we can uh, use for these quick tests. So I do this by creating a blueprint character and call this a prototype BP and I also create a an animation blueprint for this guy, which is gonna just gonna be an anim instance. Uh, select my um, head character skeleton and call this um, a prototype anim BP. And I also want to make a blank space 1D, also of the same character. Okay, so um, let's start off with the animation blueprint, uh, blank space, uh, because that's pretty easy. We will want to make a, a, the x axis call this animation and make this go from zero to let's say 10. So we have 10 different uh, uh, animations that we can uh, change in between. And let's take our um, standard idle pose and dump it as the first uh, node here. So all these are gonna be pose animation poses that we can put our character in really quickly. And uh, that's anyway, the idea. Um, so let's work our way back and um, first of all let's save and uh, let's uh, go into the um, animation blueprint and let's create a variable in here called um, animation mm, make it a float and make use of our blank space this one and plug in the animation variable here and uh, then we're going to go to the event graph and of this update animation we have this drag it pawn owner and let's just cast this to uh, the prototype uh, blueprint and we want to set the animation uh, variable based on the um, a, a similar value we will have in the in the what do you call it, the character prototype uh, blueprint yeah so uh, we want to add this variable also here animation and make it a float and we want to make this uh, public so we can change it easily and um, we want to have the character for the mesh the same character because that's probably the guy you want to uh, prototype so you want to select your prime candidate um, and you want to maybe rotate him. Not that it matters really because he's just a prototype. And one uh, quite important thing is you want to make sure that your character, so you want to check the capsule component because if you change these, I have 96 and 42 and uh, my mesh is offset by 90 nope, not that the rotation, at min minus 95. So you wanna remember these two values and you wanna go to the prototype and make sure that these two are also the same. So in this case, it's actually different. So 96 and 42. And you wanna make sure that the mesh also is offset correctly. 
So this one actually needs to go a little bit further down. Gotta be ninety five in my situation, which will be different for you probably. Okay, so now we have the character um, ready and we have uh, this value. Uh, so we can actually uh, drop him into the scene here. And you will notice that he has um, ah, one more thing we need to do. Great fireworks. Um, you want to uh, make sure that the animation blueprint uh, is set to this prototype here. So now he has this idle animation. Um, and we also want to go to the animation prototype animation blueprint and make sure that we, um, from the prototype blueprint, get this animation uh, value. So we can set it on the prototype animation blueprint. So let's uh, test this out and make sure that we have a few uh, animations that we want to test. So in my case, I have these um, two versions. I have the, um, the original one, which I will put in slot one, and I have a, a modified one, which I just quickly tested something out with. And uh, let's see how they look. So uh, I have placed now a, cage, a copy of the character here, and I will put it whoop, place another copy of him here and um, I will set the animation for this one to 1 and I will change this one to, to 2 so I can now see uh, I don't actually need to play because I can actually see that uh, if I wanted to make use this these actually uh, one thing I noticed right away is that the left animation looks terrible with the foot um, whoop, sorry uh that's because i am a terrible animator um so i need to fix that at least but this one he's not even remotely crouched enough to fit uh, in behind that ledge maybe this one would work uh we could actually try and, and rotate these guys um, I will say this one. And maybe put them up against the wall. Somewhere like this. Um, so let's say I was the bad guy. And well the the right one it's could maybe be working if I made the wall a little bit taller. Um, anyway, it's um, probably pretty clear how I how you can use this and um, to quickly test if uh, some anim animation is gonna work uh, without having to actually implement anything really. Um, one last bonus small detail um, which I find pretty useful is because this is my uh, prototype character and um, was that you can uh, go to the mesh prototype mesh here and say click on this little uh, thingy and you can see I already made these two uh, materials uh, but you can just duplicate these two which uh, are the mannequin and the chest logo and uh, you can go in to uh, this one and you can change the body color this node here and just double click on it or, or click uh, and then also this one I won't do it because I already done it and uh, similarly for the chest logo just tick this one this wasn't ticked before click this one and pick a nice color of your choice and then you can go back to your prototype and you can substitute these two. So take the body color here and you take the chest color here and the file save and you play. So now you have uh, two nice yellow men crouching away. Um, 
Anyway, I hope this uh, can prove useful to you as well. Uh, so that's it for this video. Bye bye.